Hello students, in continuation with the lecture series for nanomaterials for B.Tech first year syllabus, today we'll be discussing quantum dots, quantum wires and quantum well. This can easily come as a 10 mark question in section B or section C of your question paper or if it is there in section A, the definition can be asked. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel before proceeding further. Okay, basic concepts of quantum dots, quantum wires and quantum wells. Now, when the size or dimension of a material is reduced from large or microscopic size, such as meter or centimeter to a very small size, then the properties will remain the same, but these small changes will finally start to occur. And when the size drops below 100 nanometer, then dramatic changes in properties start occurring. So, the extreme case of this process of size reduction in which all three dimensions reach the lower nanometer range is known as a quantum dot. It comes from the word dot. As you can see here in this figure, it is in the shape of a dot. And if two dimensions are reduced such that one remains large, the resulting structure will be known as a quantum wire. You can even remember this like it is coming in the shape of a wire. And if one dimension is reduced to the nano range while the other dimensions remain large, then quantum well is obtained. This is as per their dimensions. Here you can have a look at the dimensions and differentiation of quantum wire, quantum well and the bulk size. See, when it is bulk, it is three dimensional and the confinement is zero. When it takes the shape of a quantum well, as you can see, it has been, well has come from the word, Hindi word, kuwa. That means long length. Then you can see the confinement is one. When it comes as a wire or a tar, that means the confinement is in the two-dimensional side. And when it is a quantum dot, sorry, wire, it is one-dimensional, quantum well, two-dimensional, bulk, three-dimensional, and quantum dot, zero-dimensional. And the plot for density of state for these four cases comes as follows. So this is how we are getting these quantum structures of well, wire and dot. What are the basic concepts of quantum dots? A quantum dot is defined as a system which is confined in three dimensions. Here you can see this is a quantum dot and it has zero degrees of freedom. Three main types are the core type, core shell type and alloyed quantum dot. In general, you just need to know the basic properties and applications for your syllabus. So quantum dots are semiconductor nanoparticles that glow a particular color after being illuminated by light. The color they glow is depending on the size of the nanoparticle taken into consideration. Quantum dots can have the shape of a tiny cube, a short cylinder or a sphere with nanometer dimensions. When these quantum dots are illuminated by ultraviolet light, some of the electrons receive enough energy to break free from the atoms. So quantum dots are controlling the optical properties. Hence, their production is most typical method of colloidal synthesis, which is the process of heating a solution, causing the precursors to decompose to form monomers, which then produce nanocrystals. 
quantum dots which are produced by the process of colloidal synthesis include indium arsenide, lead sulfide, etc. Colloidal synthesis is a popular method used to produce quantum dots. Plasma synthesis is also a very popular technique of producing quantum dots. All these details are not there in your syllabus. Only you need to have a brief idea about quantum dots. Now, the working of quantum dot is that they are confined valence band holes, conduction band electrons. These are particles that are carrying the electricity. And because of this confinement, the quantum dot has a distinct energy level. The longest wavelength of light are produced by the biggest quantum dot and the shortest wavelength of light are generated by the smallest quantum dot. The main application of quantum dot are that they are found to be very promising solution for a range of optical applications due to their outstanding properties. Quantum dots provide greatly enhanced colors for displays due to high level of fine tuning. They also help to improve quality control of displays, reducing the risk of variation. Also, quantum dots are found to be very promising in biological labeling, imaging, detection, and as efficient fluorescence resonance energy transfer donors. That is all. In general, you can have a look at this diagram. Quantum dots are used in photovoltaic cells, photoconductors and photodetectors, as catalysts, as biomedicine for the environment and for diodes. Basic concept of quantum wire. Quantum wire is an electrically conducting wire in which the quantum effects influence the transport properties. Usually such effects appear in the dimension of nanometers. So they are also referred to as nanowires. A quantum wire is confined to two dimensions. A quantum wire is a structure such as a copper wire that is long in one dimension but has a nanometer size as its diameter. In this case, the electrons move freely along the wire but are confined in the transverse directions. Quantum wires can be used as electron waveguides. Semiconductor quantum wires have been used to make switchable high-speed lasers. Splitting of energy levels in quantum dots due to quantum confinement effects. Semiconductor band gap increases with decrease in size of nanocrystals. Basic concept of quantum well. Quantum well are thin layered semiconductor structures in which we can observe and control many quantum mechanical effects. A quantum well is a nanometer thin layer which can confine particles in the dimension perpendicular to the layer surface, whereas the movement in the other dimensions is not restricted. A quantum well is confined in one dimension. The process of diminishing the size for the case of rectilinear geometry and the corresponding reductions in curvilinear geometry. So quantum well is realized with a thin layer of semiconductor medium embedded between other semiconductor layers in wider band gap. So both electrons and holes can be confined in the semiconductor. The biggest application of quantum well is to create compact, fast computer chips, highly efficient. They form the basis of layers and CD players. Quantum well can be used in laser diodes. They can be used in semiconductor saturable absorber mirrors and in electron absorption modulators. Thank you.